hey guys welcome back to the channel so what i'm doing now is i'm actually wet sanding the paint i got all three colors on and i am trying to pull the orange and the brown out through the black so i'm just wet sanding here and there to get some color to pop through the black to make it look like a patina weathered paint job So the key with this too, I mean, there really isn't one. This doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. It's supposed to look like an old Harley that's been outside weathered and nothing is perfect in nature. So you just make it look like how you want. And yeah, that's the best thing about this paint job is it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole point of it. All right guys, so I got all the sanding done and uh, we're gonna get ready to start clear coating. I wiped down everything, uh, I got everything laid out nice and we're gonna start throwing some clear on it. I'm gonna try to do about th for sure two, maybe three layers of clear and the type of clear I'm using is actually in a rattle can, but it's a automotive grade clear coat. So there's a hardener in it and uh, it is this stuff right here. Uh, Spray Max 2K Clear Glamour, so gloss clear. Uh, there's this little red cap right here and you have to activate this little nozzle, push it down on it and uh, it releases a hardener in the clear coat. So this is Resistant against solvents getting on it. So if you get gas on it or brake cleaner or anything like that I mean eventually any paint will wear off if you let it sit on there forever, but this stuff is very heavy-duty you can um, Buff it and polish it and it stays on there good and it's it's the best clear coat I found in a rattle can This paint job isn't perfect. It's not supposed to be supposed to look rough and old but this will really bring out the colors underneath the black and make the black shine very good so I'm gonna start laying the clear down so I'm gonna do two coats um, like I said you got to pop this little red top off and there's a little knob right here you stick this on Push down on it and activate the hardener. It just sits back in there. You can take it out if you want. And really shake it up. You've got to mix the hardener in the clear coat. And you can get ready to start spraying. Just nice, even coats. Um, don't get too close. Definitely try not to get runs in it. Uh, if you need to, you can sand them out eventually. But yeah.
We got some good progress being made on the Harley Davidson customization. I got everything painted. Um, now all I gotta do is start wet sanding and buffing to get the shine to where I want it to be. Um, it's getting close. The weather is getting warmer and I'm getting more anxious to get out and ride this thing. But uh, I'll give you a sneak peek of the parts before they get wet sanded and buffed. They look good, but there's a little bit of orange peel in the clear coat. So, but uh, this is what they look like right now. Looking pretty good. And I just started wet sanding and buffing this. Uh, I wet sanded it, started with 1000 grit, then went to 1500, then went up to 3000 grit, and now I gotta buff it. So uh, after I buff it, it'll bring back the shine. The paint is super smooth, and everything is coming along pretty good. Um, along with the tank, I blacked out a lot of the chrome, and those parts are looking well. Uh, I got the dash, some trim pieces for the front end, the air filter cover, the horn, um, the exhaust guards, the headlight, saddle bag latches, and now I'm actually going to start uh, taking off the rocker box covers, the primary cover, and the camshaft cover, and I'm going to be spraying those black as well. So, yeah.